Hi everyone, this is Nimangmo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you have watched my previous video, you ha already have witnessed a little bit about Chum in my previous video. If you haven't watched, uh, I will leave the link at description box. Please check it out. Uh, so in this video, I am going to speak about Chum. So before I get started with this one, I wanted to say that I have learned all these things just in a, a few days back so i might uh, make mistakes so you're always welcome to correct me in the comment section so uh, so without taking much time i want to talk to you guys about chum so what is chum right so chum is a tibetan word that is translated as marks dance it's not the normal dance we do right so normal dance are called shabdo or gar in tibetan uh, so cham is not the normal dance that we usually do cham is performed during uh, religious ritual ceremonies it's not the normal dance you have to understand the difference between normal dance and the cham <laughs> The origin of the Tibetan Buddhist marks dance date back to around 6th century. The religious significance of Cham is that the Cham is considered as an act of cleansing of the evil forces. It is performed to show human beings what happens after life accordingly to their deeds when they were alive. The charm is practiced where Tibetan Buddhism has practiced actively. The Himalayan region of Tibet, Bhutan, India and northern area of Nepal.
All the scary marks have its own meaning. Whatever we are witnessing right now is called Bardo Cham. Bardo is 49 days transition between death and rebirth. So between these 49 days, it is believed we meet these deities which are shown through this marks dance. So it is very crucial to get familiar with these deities through this marks dance. Every deities are in pair. It is said one is female and other is male. The musician have to play accordingly to a certain rhythm. The performer's body, mind and speech have to be in perfect unison through meditation. His body movements like his hands and feet gesture must be synchronized. The dancer has to visualize himself as the deities whose marks he is wearing. Nowadays, the audience for the charm has been increased. It has attracted audience from all over the world. It has become like a fair. But earlier audience would focus on their body, speech, and mind on their performance. They would take blessing from dance with full concentration. This is how charm used to be performed.
so this is the end of the video i hope you guys have liked it if i have made any mistake please let me know and correct me in the comment section so thank you for watching me and please do like subscribe and if possible comment down if i have done good or not thank you for watching